So for war fret, um, everyone knows the. second fret on the third and fourth strings, and then dropping down a string to the E minor. And what I'm doing is I'm taking that A and I'm going to the, the A in the middle of the, um, the second position here. I'm taking the two middle notes on the third and fourth string, so instead of, I'm going... So that riff is on the uh, fourth string, seven, nine, and then on the third string, six, seven, six, and then back to the fourth string, seven, and then the same thing. And drop it down two, you know, so it's on the fifth and fourth fret. That's the fill bass slide from three to five on the fifth string. So then, um, after the singing, you know, you get to the other half found me stumbling around on the wine. I'm assuming that everyone knows the, the, you know, the basic. Bend down. Way down, down, E minor, down by the banks of the city, back to the A. Time it gets to a verse, it ends with a GD. The other half found that I got some time to hear your story. So, um, when it gets to the, the middle break, and when it gets to that A, it strums with the rhythm of the burgundy wine. This is pedaling back and forth on all these things, so it's like, um, G, I'll get D, and then it's going to be G, D again. And that riff, starting from the G, you already have your, your third fret and the high E uh, fretted, three, five, three, D, so it's... Pedal back and forth between the A and G. Now it goes to the C. The good old Lord willing G. It's going to have that same. So instead of where with the G and the D we went, for the C, we're picking the um, second string, third fret. So again, I'm going to put all together. On my feet, 
E minor and it's an up brush you know kind of dragging it across all of them and that's just on the E minor you know open two on the fifth open two on the fourth open I don't know all the minor specifics because I just, my fingers do it, but. A, I'll get out, get a new style. So what this is, is if you looked at these two notes that we're going to be going. Second string, so we're gonna have A where we've got the second string fretted on the third. This the, we get the second string on the third string on the third fret now. Before it was the second fret from the two. Third, two. We're kind of lead line. I should. So that's basically the same riff with one extra note. So it's so on the fifth string, second fret, and then open on the third, and then the fifth, and this time it goes open on the fourth. And the second time it does the same. has that little uh, open third string so it gets that shape So those are just some thoughts on Warfrat. Hope that's helpful. Talk to you later.